Aristotle Pantelis, XTM International. The forum gives me the opportunity to share my experience with people specifically about localization, but with a view on how localization affects a variety of areas in the supply chain for life sciences. And I'm trying to learn and see what companies believe is the best practice moving forward. I've seen the increasing uh, desire for life sciences to collaborate. So the challenge for the future is for the, to not lose the momentum of that collaboration. Where I've seen collaboration is exactly in places like this, in forums, in conferences, where life science uh, executives are increasingly choosing to share information about the back-end operations of their, of their processes and whatnot. So our, our CTO at XTM, uh, Andy Zydron, has been at the forefront of machine translation activities for many years. They have great comp technology companies like Google and Microsoft doing wonderful things. Life Sciences has, uh, has been slow to adapt and to determine how to use that. We've seen uh, valuable use cases in that, uh, for example, a document comes out and uh, immediately executives want to know what does that document say in multiple languages, and they would need to translate that immediately so that they can share that information, not to necessarily share it externally with customers, but to share it internally. So machine translation is starting to move in to use with post-editing in Life Sciences that way. But I also see that they can reduce costs moving forward with proper quality post-editing and linguistic quality assurance added to it uh, in the future for life sciences.